All right, boys and girls, welcome to Wednesday's literacy lesson. Yesterday we read a story about some fish. We were able to compare and contrast, and we would ask questions as we go. Now, before we get further, I want us to look back and just recall some things that I have. So I'm going to come up a little closer. I want you to just take a look at our pages about fish. What do you recall that they had about these fish? How did they look? Hmm. These are words that we could use to describe these fish. I'll do one more and then we'll sit back down. Now, we just went back through. We didn't do all of the pages. But now I have a web, and it says, amazing fish. And I want us to think of some words that we could say to describe fish. We're going to compare and contrast, so let's start. So some fish are short, but if they're short, they also can be long. Compare and contrast. Some of them are... Flat and round. How else could you describe them? Some have dots, some have lines. Very good. How else can we describe those fish? Camouflage. Yes, some of them can. So some are camouflage. 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 Hmm. If they're not camouflage, then they could be bright. They'll stand out. Yeah. Think about now some special ones. Which ones did we think were really cool? Some look like a sword. Look like sword. Some have lights. Yep. Some have lights. Now, I just went through and I described details about these fish faces, of what some have. Some are this. I want you to think of a book that you have at home. Maybe it's your guided reading book. I want you to describe what they may have. What do they look like? All of those different things that we use to describe or they help us compare and contrast a book. All right, I know it's kind of short today, but we did an awesome job with it yesterday. All right, let's review our words for the week. We have six box in a box. We have X. Then we have V, violet van. Remember, put it down on your bottom lip. It's not the, but mm, great work. And then, do you remember our sight words? We have has look. Has look. Keep practicing, boys and girls. See if you can get through that next group of sounds. If you need to, only take 10 outs. Memorize those next 10 and make sure you are keeping practicing them. All right. So today, wrapping up. We looked back at fish. We thought of words, we compared and contrasted them, and we used words to describe them. They're also called adjectives. We reviewed our letters, we reviewed our sight words, and I want you to keep practicing those words, keep doing your journals, keep doing guided reading. I gave you some new books that I hope you're excited to read. Keep practicing, friends.